Now we'll hear about loving God from a Muslim perspective. This is an adaptation of a paragraph written by William Chittick, a scholar of Sufism. After that, we'll hear a poem by Rumi. <coughs> Love is the very reality of God himself. Love gives rise to the universe and permeates all of creation. God singled out human beings for special love by creating them in his own form and bestowing on them the unique capacity to recognize him in himself and to love him for himself not for any specific blessing. The mark of this capacity is that they alone receive the command instructing, on, instructing them on what they are to do. Human beings alone are offered the choice of loving him or rejecting him. The creative command instills them with love, but he cannot force them to recognize who it is that they truly love without depriving them of their humanity. As the Quran puts it, there is no coercion in religion. For coerced love is no love at all. Those who accept the call of the command should not expect an easy road. Falling in love is the beginning of pain, not its end. Nonetheless, the more intense the pain, the greater the joy. Seeking God. Lovers share a sacred command to seek God, the beloved. They roll head over heels, rushing toward the beautiful one like a torrent of water. In truth, everyone is a shadow of God. Our seeking is his seeking. Our words are his words. At times we flow toward God like a dancing stream. At times we are still water held in his pitcher. At times we boil in a pot, turning to vapor. That is the job of the beloved. God breathes into my ear until my soul takes on his fragrance. God is the soul of my soul. How can I escape? But why would any soul in this world want to escape from the beloved? God will melt your pride, making you thin as a strand of hair. Yet do not trade, even for both worlds, one strand of his hair. We search for God here and there while looking right at him. Sitting by his side, we ask, Oh, beloved, where is the beloved? <laughs> Enough with such questions. 
Let silence take you to the core of life. All your talk is worthless when compared to one whisper of the beloved. <clears throat> Now we'll close with music, followed by a few minutes for quiet contemplation, and end the silence with a chant.